I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Memorize Data for Tests. All right, so memorizing data can be one of the most obnoxious parts of having to take a big exam, uh, but unfortunately, it's usually necessary, especially for chemistry or other sciences. So there's no hard and fast way to memorize stuff. If you have your own technique, feel free. I'll run through a few that have worked for me in the past. All right, so one, I always start by consolidating. I look through all the chapters, all the problems, all the material I'm responsible for, and I find every single thing that I have to memorize. And once I have that, I usually write it down on a piece of paper. Because essentially I want to be able to look at everything uh, before I start. I don't want to memorize a bunch of grids that are unnecessary and then also have forgotten a crucial one. So first step, know what you're going to memorize for this test. Okay, so second step is pretty traditional. It's just flashcards. So this is best if you have a ton of stuff that you're really struggling with to memorize because obviously making the flashcards themselves takes a while. So make sure that when you're actually making the flashcards, you're memorizing and you're having them be useful. And once you make them, only do maybe five at a time. And then make sure that you've mastered those five, put them aside, do another five, and then do all 10 at a time until you've mastered the complete pile. It takes a while. So flashcards work, but they're also extremely boring. If you have a partner, one thing you can do is do the ball memorize game. I really need to think of a catchy name for this. But essentially how it works is, let's say, for whatever reason, we are trying to memorize elements. Then I would throw the ball to my partner, and as soon as you catch it, you have to say the name of an element. And then you'll throw it back, and then when you catch it again, you'll have to say a different element. And so you can go back and forth, and this is a good way to kind of have active learning. If you've been sitting at your desk and you're really sleepy, throwing a ball back and forth uh, can really work. If you're by yourself and you have no study buddy, you can maybe uh, just throw up in the air and catch, try to say a new element every time you catch it on your own, or some kind of variation on that. Um, so this is a good way to kind of work in uh, you know, getting some blood pumping. And the last thing is kind of the most obnoxious one, and I have only seen a few people really follow it, but it is the most effective way. And this is don't cram. You can definitely get some good studying done when you're cramming, but you're going to have holes in your knowledge, and that's just it. So if you start a few days before the exam, maybe like four days, and you put a few good hours every day into studying, you're going to memorize it way better than putting four hours the day before the exam into studying, especially memorizing. You're going to burn out. So these are all my advice. Write down everything you know and know what you're going to memorize before you start. Do flashcards if you're having a struggle. Do the ball bouncing game if you need to get up and get moving. And don't do this the day before the exam. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Memorize Data for Tests.